You know, we always think about what our grandparents left to us. We've had over 30 years of uh, different cops already. I think that it's here the time for yacht. When young people look back to COP27 in Sharm El Sheikh, Egypt, I hope we look to this momentum with lots of surprise. I hope future generations will look back at COP27 and recognize it as the summit that understood that the climate crisis is a multi-headed and multi-threaded crisis. I hope that future generations will look back at COP27 and say, wow. Whoa, they really took action. That we fought, and we fought till our last breath. That everyone there in the room honestly and genuinely did the maximum they can to protect us from climate change. Those said that this was really an implementation COP. That COP27 was a turning point. I would like leaders to be aware of the consequences of their actions and their inactions. To be a climate leader, you need to be morally courageous. You must be proactive and not reactive. Be empathetic. So let's show the future we care by bringing in climate justice at the center of the COP27 agenda. Let's show the future we care by putting youth at the heart of your decision making. Making sure that children and youth are being recognized as leaders. Providing solutions, okay? Not just talking without acting. And we have to start action now. I really hope that future generations will remember COP27 as the last COP that was actually needed for us to start acting. That we finally start implementing things. Together for implementation. <laughs>